As someone who researches batteries, I'm often asked, Vanessa, when will I get a better battery? My first response is, better how? As a battery user, I of course want better everything. I want a battery that charges faster, I want a battery that lasts longer on a single charge, I want a cheaper battery, and I want one that performs as well as it did when I first bought it. But as a battery researcher, I know there are trade-offs among all these different features. Batteries are inexpensive primarily because they are spit off battery manufacturing lines at a rate of about one battery every few seconds. It's this incredibly fast manufacturing speed that makes it challenging to improve all these performance parameters at the same time. But to start to understand how we can move beyond trade-offs, let's look into a battery. In a lithium-ion battery, you have three long, thin layers that are rolled up. A cross-section through these layers looks something like this. Energy density in your battery is determined by how much active material, that is, how many of these blue particles you have in how much space and what they're made of. Charging speed in a battery is determined by how fast you can shuttle lithium ions from active particles in one layer to active particles in the opposite layer. Discharge speed is simply how fast this process happens in reverse. Now, we've seen that battery technology has advanced incredibly uh, in the past 25 years. But surprisingly, many of the complex processes that go on inside a battery are still not well understood. For this reason, trial and error still plays an important role in battery development. For this reason, my group um, has worked for the last six years to try to better understand fundamental processes inside batteries. We've developed X-ray-based techniques to actually look inside batteries as they operate. This enables us to directly see what the problems are and which solutions work. Here you see a sub-volume of inside of your battery. Um, the flake-like particles are graphite, which are used in about 95% of lithium-ion batteries today. When you charge your battery, lithium is inserted into the graphite particles and the particles expand. When you discharge your battery, lithium leaves the graphite particles and they contract. Manufacturers like graphite because in addition to being cheap, it can tolerate this immense mechanical stress every time you charge and discharge your battery. But the flake-like shape of graphite makes for a long, complicated path along which your lithium ions have to travel. And we've shown with our X-ray imaging approaches that it's this long, complex path that limits how fast you can charge your battery. This led to the formation of Batrion, a startup company out of my group. Batrion developed a technique to align the active particles inside your battery such that lithium uh, has a shorter, less twisted path to follow. This means manufacturers can stick with graphite as a cheap and mechanically robust material, but give you a battery that charges faster, all while not sacrificing energy density or battery life. So, better batteries? As someone who quite literally uh, spends her time looking into batteries, I'm excited by what I see inside. There's still tremendous uh, potential for chemistry and engineering to bring us all around better batteries. And of course, while I'm looking forward to getting one of these batteries in my cell phone and my computer, all around better batteries have a far more important role to play. They will enable affordable electric transportation, and they will make it possible to store intermittent renewable energies like wind and solar. Thank you very much.